Hey Pythoneers, if you're still using pip as the package manager in your Python application, you really should watch this video, because there is a new package manager you have to know about. It's called UV, and it totally changes the way you install libraries and set up projects. Let me show you how. The best way to get started is to create a new folder where you will store your project, because mixing it up with pip can be a mess. Then open this new folder in your text editor or IDE or wherever you work. In here, start a new terminal and install pipx with the command pip install pipx. Next, we use pipx to install uv using the command pix install uv. Now, if you get a warning here, you can follow the instruction in the terminal, or just run the command pipx ensure path to redefine your path where you store your environments later. Okay, we are ready to set up our first project. You'll immediately see why uv is so powerful. Just run the command uv init. Enter a name for the project, and then you can define, for example, the Python version like this, dash dash Python 313. Next, we have to cd into this folder. The command creates a new folder for you with some project-related documents like a .gitnor, project toml, a readme, and a main.py. It also defines a new default environment and selects your interpreter, so you don't have to worry about it. That makes it so simple to create or work on different projects with different interpreters and environments. To add a new library, you just have to run the command uv add flask. Since this is written in Rust, it's super fast, as you see here. Mine failed because I opened a new terminal and didn't cd into the working folder. The nice thing is you instantly get feedback in the terminal about what was installed and with which version. I really love this. As you see, it was super simple to start fresh and get the project set up so I can use Flask in my project. It took like 20 seconds or so with the right interpreter and a new environment. So nice, huh? I really want to bring you to test it out because it's amazing once you are familiar with it. The link to the docs is in the comments. Before we end this video, I want to show you how you can change the Python version you use and or the environment. There are different ways. You can just delete the venv folder in your project structure or run the command rm-rfvenv in your terminal. Then, you simply create a new one by calling the command uvvenv-python and defining a version like 3.110. And just like this, you change the environment and the interpreter from Python 3.13 to 3.10. And now we have to add Flask again. If you want to know how to remove or perform additional things, I suggest you to check out the documentation on UV, linked in the comments, and here you can see the link as well. UV is similar to how you create React apps using the NPX manager. Happy coding, try it out, and I'll see you in the next one.